Okay, this is part two of the making a John Gilbert style bridge. This is my interpretation of it. Okay, we've already cut this groove here. Uh, these other, there's three, one, two, three, four other grooves that are made. Okay, um, and it's done the same way that you saw these made before. Okay, so I'm going to give you the specifications on these. Um, I start out first with the, uh, this is an Am Amana tool bit, uh, part number 45192. It's a 332nd uh, bit, okay, and that's put in the drill press, and I drill the uh, slot for the saddle. Uh, the length of this is, uh, let me see here, the length is 2.625, I think that's like 2 and 5 eighths. Uh, length. In fact, all of these are uh, 2.625 in length. Okay, so I do this one. The depth is 150 thousandths. Uh, it's 330 seconds away from the edge here. So from the front edge to the front edge of the saddle is 330 seconds. So this is 330 seconds, and then this groove is 330 seconds and 150 thousandths deep. Okay, next I use the same bit and I groove uh, the tie block inlays. Okay, um, <clears throat> let's start with this one here. The, this groove here on the outer edge, uh, it's a hundred and hundred thousand square. So the depth is a hundred thousandths and I go in a hundred thousandths, <clears throat> which is a little bit more then the width of 330 seconds. So you can make two passes on there or just cut uh, the, the uh, excess with a, a chisel. Chisel that out, okay? <clears throat> then looking at it this way, from this edge to the leading edge of the tie block, it's 475 thousandths. So this edge here is 475 thousandths from this edge over here, okay? <clears throat> so make sure you measure that properly there. And again, the length is uh, 2.625 uh, from here to here. Okay, but this one is a little bit deeper. This one I go, uh, let me see here, 115,000. So I go 15,000 deeper here because this is going to get beveled this way. It's going to slant downwards when we get to the uh, third uh, video here. Okay, then what I do is I drill these holes for the strings. Now the bit I use is 1.5 approximately uh, millimeters diameter. I use a wire gauge bit, but I don't remember the, the wire size. Uh, the string spacing that I use is uh, 2.3 inches. Okay, so I mark that. Um, I mark it from the top edge here, and I go down about um, 185 thousandths from the top edge to the center line here uh, for that. And I don't angle the hole, I just put the bridge this way and drill straight down uh, so they're not slanted this way, it's perfectly straight there. And then the final one that I do, I use this a 3 16 inch round nose uh, bit. I chuck it up just like we did with the, the stops and stuff before when we did these grooves and then those other three. And I make a bunch of passes in here to do the trough between the tie block and the uh, saddle. So this hits right at the front edge, 475 thousandths from this edge to the front edge of the tie block. And I go... Uh, uh, 275 thousandths, that's 0.275 in depth. I gr do that gradually. Don't do it all at one time or it's going to catch and you're going to mess up your, your bridge. Okay, so after I've drilled the holes for the strings, then I do this one. And then you'll see your string holes. I don't know if you can see it in the video there. The string holes in the trough. Okay. They're just peeking through there. Okay. Otherwise, if you do the trough and then drill the holes, you're going to get some tear out of the string holes. Okay, so after I do that, then what I do is I get, um, I go buy a, a Melmac casserole dish, a white one, 
and I cut it up and I make my tie block inlays from Melmac. Okay, you can get that at Target. So for five bucks, you get enough for, oh, I don't know, 50 guitars or more of tie block inlay. And this stuff's really durable. So um, I cut it up into strips and then those are glued into these slots so that you'll have the finished product that looks like this. Okay, that's been uh, sanded so it's flush with the edges and everything. And this one's about ready to um, shape the trough here. And then we bevel the wings and then we radius the, the bottom of the, the bridge. Okay, so I hope that uh, helps clear up some of the mysteries of the Gilbert style bridge. Of course, this isn't the pin style Gilbert bridge. This is a, uh, a bone saddle. And the only thing that's different is your when you're using uh, pins, but the the specifications are the same. You're just using um, three thirty second stainless steel wire for the uh, saddle pins. Okay, in this case, it's going to be a bone saddle. All right, see you next video.